Uh, welcome back guys uh, to the VMT2 developers cut on the Nightmare difficulty right back where we left off last episode. You guys, last episode we reached Sentinel, Sentinel <laughs> Island and uh, yeah, let's uh, continue with exploring this area and getting to know Oops. some people. Back off now! I'm warning you, I know magic. Stay, gusty bus, et caloribus. What? No fireball? Wait, a nice storm. <laughs> Sick transit, Gloria Monday. Oh, no, that one doesn't work either. Aria, yakta est. Fluctuate, net mergitua. No, I think I'd better run now. If I'd speak Latin, <laughs> would probably be pretty funny. Now, stand back, Dreikling. Apparentrari nantes in good. All right, all right. You can stop your magic now. I have no intention of hurting you. A trick, I say. You'll steal my eardrums as I sleep. Uh, divine, grant me patience. Ha, yes, the dragon yields before my power. I am invincible. <laughs> I am the walrus. Yeah, who are you exactly? Although the last, not least. No, no, no. But I want my soup. I was wondering what that big cauldron was for. Wiven, yeah? yeah? Delicious wiven soup. But I want the ultimate. Bring me a wither mother egg, Lizard King, and I'll give you Mr. Shiny. Yes, yes! <laughs> Up the big spire you go! Okay, let's see, might read. Just loads of prices. He ate the doggy with the arrow by the sea. <laughs> he ate it, silly doggy. <laughs> okay, again, who are you exactly? The slave of the master, the master of the mouse. He's up in his tower all day, but left without poor me. The other threw me out, though I bit at his ankles. Are you telling me you actually served Maxos? Maxos, the great one. A long, long life he gave me. Uh, who's Mr. Shiny? He's a smart one, he is. Click and chest is open. Click and chest is closed. Made him with me own teeth. They were shiny. Now, all old and yellow. <laughs> Up the big spire, could you be more specific? The women pin. What a view. But fire rains down. Do you have a water umbrella? Let's, uh, is there anything useful you can sell me, perhaps? Most certainly, if you pay with spoons. Okay, let's see. These items are all unenchanted without any enchantment slots. So they are all bad. Uh, this one. Yeah. Mr. Smashy. 30 to 90 damage, that, that's pretty decent. And two enchantment slots. Yeah, that's not too bad. Some armor. An enchanted. Mr. Belty. HP regeneration, spontaneous combustion. Mr. Necktie. Necti. Plus two destruction passive. But nothing. No, he doesn't have any good stuff. So, recipe book, chest, and we are over encumbered again. Yes. Another one to add to the collection. Uh, let's let's first get back to Broken Valley, maybe, and sell some stuff. So, let's go to the Chapel Shrine first. Talk to our necromancer.
Okay, let's keep it at that. And we lost at least one item. That's fine. And village shrine. As soon as we reach the top of the battle tower, we can get rid of a lot of items we have in our inventory currently. That will help a lot. So. Why am I even checking there? I should just go to Derek. Let's see, plus 20 damage. Yeah, I could just sell that one. One's all unique. Wanted to disenchant that one. Jewelry plus two to mind reach. Hmm. I should go to my enchanter mm. to get rid of these <laughs> items. It up a Naya bar before. I hope this will be the last time I have to do that. And next time we can just uh, go and store our stuff, and then we won't have inventory problems anymore. We lost some more inventory space. Great still have these so once we go to enchanting we should also get rid of all of these recipes Okay, let's go to West Valley. <laughs> yeah, for example, yeah, we could enchant. It would cost a Malachite game, so that's not worth. Not worth it for now. Poison Aura needs more gold ore. We disenchant. That one lets me the protection five, yes. Come on then. Hey there. Let's just see, me protection five. <coughs> we would actually be able to enchant that one. Interesting. Uh, come on, then. Yeah, but for now, I don't think we need the enchantments right now. But we have some more inventory space now. Could also just get rid of some potions. For example, destroy them. Okay, that should be fine for now. Mm, that now we can go back to Sentinel Island and get on with it. Mm. Yeah, here there are definitely a lot of enemies, and they are stronger than the ones in Broken Valley, so...
but also they will give me a lot of XP, so that's good. Okay, that's that and over here there's ghost. Let's talk to him. Jonah. Have you come to mock me again? Like an old corpse idolater. That's my treat. I wonder what it is Lycan dropped when he last came here. That Vaca fellow took it to his cave. Probably lies there by his I'm not like a friend, far from it. Oh, forgive me, stranger. I have seen none other than him for as long as it takes the wind to carve new designs in these rocks. Uh, why would like mock you? A long time ago, my crew and I were attacked by Mocha Dick, the biggest, most vicious whale ever to have terrorized the way. He sunk our ship and ate us all like we were mackerel. But my spirit made it back to shore, and I have been sitting here fishing for him ever since. Lycan sometimes comes to ridicule me, but I care not. I shall not rest until I have caught my whale. I don't think that hunting for a whale with the line will be will have much effect. Why must the whale bite? He, he took something. I lost. Oh, I don't like to talk about it. I'm sorry. But I must have it back. I'll have it back. Uh, how did you end up on this island? When my ghost escaped from the stomach of the whale, I wandered the ocean for a long time. I saw vast wastes and mountain ranges, cities long lost, and civilizations gone. One day, I ventured upon an enormous mountain that arose from the bottom of the ocean. I climbed and climbed until I reached the end of endless waters. Here I was on Sentinel Island, source of dragon magic, Playground of a psychotic necromancer. Uh, have you met a strange lady by any chance? I have seen her, but she does not visit me. I am dead, after all, and none of her concern. I must go now. Good luck. And good luck to you, friend, whatever your quest may be. <laughs> your quest? The ghost? The old ghost at the sea. So, uh, now we just can start exploring the island and killing every dragon elf we find. So, yeah, that's pretty much uh, it for now. So, grinding begins again. So up here there seems to be something interesting. Let's read it. This grave is important. I can sense it. Be on the lookout for magic that may niche the wind. Oh my god, what's down here? I think the first two or three times I played this game, I never known about this follow-on cave.
Yeah, the reason why I'm still getting these enchant uh, these uh, lesser full resistance and substantial healing. That's very nice. Some better health potion brewing recipes. That's good. Um, it's because that's the Steam Developers Cut version. I normally just play the Dragon Knight Saga version. That's not on Steam because of some enchantment changes. <laughs> Such a close call. You could tell my walking armors had the upper hand, little sister. Huh, you wish, Mahala. My dragon elves would have won were it not for the unfavorable terrain. We have waged our little wars here for as long as Lycan, praise be his name, has been the master of the tower. So don't blame the terrain. I'll blame what I will, my sassy sibling, you. What is this? A spectator? Uh, tell me, ladies, about these uh, little wars, as you call them. Gladly. Here we struggle, Tiff. Hush, Ada. I will do the talking. We, stranger, are sisters who humbly serve Lycan, the immortal. It is our task to create for him an army that will one day rival the Black Ring, so that he, not the followers of the Divine, nor Damien, will be the ultimate ruler of Rivalon. But we are in disagreement. Obviously, my walking armors are the most powerful soldiers ever to have trod the earth. Nonsense. My dragon elves are superior in every way. I will win this contest. Uh, so what now? I choose sides. Sides, if you wish, though the choice is so obvious. So it is this. So we have three options. We can either side with one of them, or we can just fight both of them. Um, I've not done the part where I choose a side, so therefore I'm just gonna. Uh, Pick one side. So uh, let's take the dragon elves. I think, yeah. Second options. I have met wild dragon elves, and they posed quite a challenge. A greater challenge there isn't. <laughs> take that, Mahala. Ha! You are <coughs> fools, both of you. Quest updated. Sibling rivalry. Rivalry. <coughs> so let's just explore this cave a bit. So we have two directions. Once the dragon elf direction, and let's look at our lookbook. Sibling rivalry. They are. Yeah. I met two quarreling sisters named Ada and Mahala. They are in competition that will end in an army for Lycan. My money is on Ada's dragon elves, which displeased her sister. May, maybe I can make sure she wins this long-standing rivalry. Good to see you, wise stranger. Let's see. No, nothing. So this rivalry between you and your sister, how long will it last? Not much longer because I have a plan. I'll tell you all about it, but first I need a favor. Please bring me some fake red ore. It's commonly used for decoration or for jewelry making by those who can't afford the real thing. You should be able to find some inside one of the shipwrecks. I'd fetch it myself, but I can't trust Mahala not to take advantage of my absence. Lycan's blessing. So, it would probably be a good choice to kill them both, because they will make an army for Lycan, and Lycan is my sworn enemy, so... Yeah, but because I'm interested in what's going to happen, I will side with her and just look what the quest holds for us. Probably just needing to find some fake red ore. And some of the shipwrecks. And uh, though we haven't discovered this, I this playthrough yet, um, there are a lot of shipwrecks. Mm. So, uh, getting back to slaying some mm. dragon elves. Yeah. 
the easiest dead. Let's take this left path. Do not attack me, human. I wish you no harm, unlike the rest of my kin. Let's see, my treat, yes. It's been a long time since that crazy hermit went with him shooting. I guess his bow is still in his chest with the secret compartment. What a waste. I mean no offense, but you seem to be the root of a rather particular aroma. Peculiar oh, aroma. Yes, I do apologize. It's my wyvern salve you smell. Uh, why would one use such a malodorous ointment? I apply the salve before every egg hunt. I very much enjoy a wyvern omelette in the morning. Well, I'm trying to get my hands on a wyvern mother egg, so some of that salve would come in handy. I'll gladly give you a modicum if you do me a small favor. Fair enough, tell me. I reside in a small cave here, but for one reason or the other, some ghosts have begun to haunt it. I'll admit they frighten me. Please destroy them and the barn is yours. Uh, what are you and your kin exactly? We are known as the Dragon Elves, an artificially engineered race created by the dragons themselves. They wanted their island to be protected by beings that were to be strong and fearsome like themselves, but not as intelligent. The race of elves at that time still newfangled was deemed suitable, and soon the crossbreed was established. Uh, they not only seem to be less intelligent, they are downright savage. It was not always so. Lycan's cruel reign defiled their very being. But I saw what was happening and withdrew to my cave, where I found solitude and knowledge in books. So let me assure you again. I pose no danger. I'm not like the other dragon elves. Uh, can you tell me something more about these wyverns? They moved in after our dragon lords had left. Very territorial. That's one of their trademarks. They'll attack anyone who approaches their nests. That's why I have the salve, of course. They also tend to collect anything they can find, especially things that glitter in the sun. I bet they've amassed a whole treasure trove of items by now. Riches for the taking, if you could reach them. I'll be going now. Goodbye, human. Okay. Let's do his quest. Uh, so he has some ghosts in his cave. Let's, let's see what that's all about. Okay. Okay, perfect. It's the first of them done. But there are some more. All ghosts are dead. So that's that, and we have some more items. So uh, now we have the decision to steal some of the stuff, and yeah, let's see. There's <laughs> probably some key down here somewhere to open that crate. Some fossil ore. Let's see. Ah, over there there's a key. If we take Vaka's gem. Oh, we get uh, 
a first item of a new armor set, the hunter set. Um, let's see, and we got a uh, pretty decent helmet. Another one to add to the collection. He said something about the secret compartment. So what is that about? I will look it up and then I will get back to you later. Mm. So, if we take his gem, he will get angry at us, I think. Then we can kill him. Uh, let's see what happens. That's why I quick saved. Your turn. The ghosts are gone from the closet from under my bed. Uh, they shall trouble you no longer. Well done. Finally, I'll be able to get some rest. But wait a minute. That's my gem. Yeah, let's say. Uh, sorry, couldn't resist. You take it back. Good, good. I'm ready. Here's the women's sound. Okay, let's see. We have some two good potions. Let's let's take the potions. Shiny. I think if we take, yeah, and now if we go to the women's spire. There will be a pop up to apply the wave and solve. So let's just do that. Mm. Now, if you normally would go here, the movements mm. will attack you and you will die. Mm. So, because we applied the self, there is no problem. So, in these nests, there can sometimes be found uh, some items found. That's very good. So, thing in there. Pure mm. just mm. snack. Perfect. And mm. now we can go back to mm. the hermit mm. we just met in the beginning. First kill some dragon elves. Uh, here you go, good king, one with a mother egg. Interesting. Some more gold. And yeah, we've just got gold. We have 20,000 by now, that's pretty good. So, I think guys, that's the end of the episode. Um, let me just... Yeah, maybe... Yeah, take a, take a cool screenshot over here. Yeah, and that's that. So, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next episode. And, uh, yeah. Bye, guys.